Hi guys, it's Melissa again. As you can tell, I'm not wearing any makeup. I decided to do a makeup tutorial this morning. I'm just gonna get into it. I wanna talk through what products I'm using. So, let's get started. Let me. I use the Strobe Liquid Lotion um, from MAC. Um, as you can see, I use it quite often. I've had it probably, probably about a year and it's still, I just, I like it. It puts a little luminosity to to the skin, especially since I did a, a scrub. So we're gonna put this on all over. All right, sorry for the horrible faces I'll be making. I'm just warning you now. All right, now after that, I usually put a lip balm, which I already put it on, and I use my M. Michelle Fawn and Sherbert. It's a pillow plush, um, and I absolutely love this. Um, it's an orangey tint. I just put a very little because I wanted to keep my lips moisturized and all that. So I usually put this on before any of my makeup, too. Then we're going to go in with my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. So with this, what I really try to concentrate on is putting it where my pores are. So on my cheeks, my nose, and on my chin. I don't usually end up here. I don't usually put a lot and it all over my face. I just want it on those troubled areas. And I am really pale, so I'm sorry that my face gets really red when I wipe everything on my face. It's just the German in me, so. Okay, I am going to use, probably because I am on my pale days, my MAC um, Match Master Foundation SPF 15 in color 1.0. This is really a little bit lighter than I want, but I don't have a Mac store in my area. And I don't feel like driving forever in a day to get some. So when I go back to Texas to visit my family, we have one that's probably about 30 minutes away from my mom's. So I'll probably get some more. So <clears throat> what I do is I just put it on the back of my hand couple squirts and I use my favorite brush of all time um, my S Sigma flat kabuki f80 brush absolutely love it and it's got the white tip I I'm obsessed with this brush so a lot of people do their eye makeup first I am NOT I have to have my face look pretty first before I can even concentrate on the eyes. Otherwise, my eyes look horrible. I've tried doing my eyes first. Mm -mm. I'm like, I look like a hot mess. So, I'm just throwing this all on. And, I pluck my eyebrows a little bit, so they're a little red, so I'll put a little extra and I'll pay more attention to those in a little bit. And I don't didn't use all of it, so I will be using my Philosophy Purity Made Simple One Step Facial Cleansing Cloths. I usually have just a dry one that I just pull out for moments like these and I'll use this a couple times just to get the makeup off before I wash my hands because I hate washing my hands when there's makeup on it and it just sticks to the sink so that is my foundation I'm doing a quick simple my usually everyday go-to look since I have to go do some errands today um, and it's really super simple I have dry skin so I'm not gonna put a lot of powder on but I am going to put on my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. I stocked up on MAC products before I moved. So I didn't realize I was going to have to 
and I just a little drop. I didn't realize I was gonna have to slow my process up with them. Where's my concealer? I don't know. So we'll just dot the eyes real quick. I don't really have bags under my eyes. It's more of a to lighten up type deal. So who doesn't like to be looking like they're awake? I do. And I like to use my fingertips more than the brush even though I was just looking for my brush. But I use my fingertips because it seems to go on better. And I'm going to bring it down a little bit to a V shape. Look like a little clown a little bit. And I know a lot of people <clears throat> and a lot of beauty people will tell you to go down the bridge of the nose and then up. I don't like to do that just because my nose is already thin and I don't need to try to make it look thinner because I already get told that my face is like will be sometimes like anorexic skinny and to me that's not a compliment so all right see it's um almost my skin tone I just wanted to brighten it up just a little and I will use my MAC uh skin finish mineralizing skin finish natural and this is in the light. And then I'll use my Eco Tools powder brush um, that I got from Walgreens. And I'll just, I like to use a big brush. I don't know why on my eyes. Everyone always uses small, but I like it because I, uh, since I don't put powder all over my face, this kind of offsets everything else. Because I am going now to do, I'm going to go to my, my MAC paint, uh, paint pot in painter, Painterly. I use this as my um, primer for my eyes. And I just slab that on there. And I like to take it up to my eyebrows. That's when I said I was gonna focus on my plucked eyebrows and the redness. I put a lot, all the way up to my eyebrows and my brow bone. Now I'm going to go for my Naked Basics Urban Decay. I'm going to use my Mirabella blender brush that I got in one of my Ipsy bags as well. I'm going to go in with the color, let's see what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go in with Naked, Naked 2. Um, it kind of is almost the same color as the, the paint pot that I just put on. So let me just, in no particular order, just slap it on. <clears throat> okay, now that I have the Naked 2 all over the lid, <sighs> eyeshadow brush. I like the Eco, and I'm going to use the color Faint. And I'm going to put that up in the crease and just bring it out to the outer corner and shove that all up in there. It looks like a little hot mess right now, but I'll get my other blending brush in the corner. Right, then I take my Sigma E25 blending brush because it's I like it because it's smaller and it's better for the crease and just windshield wiper. All right, now that I have it all blended out, I'm gonna do this super quick. I'm gonna take my other brush, eyeshadow brush, and I'm gonna go in with Foxy and use that at the brow bone for that natural look. So, okay, now that I finished the eyes, 
Um, with this look, I want to keep it soft and natural, so I'm not putting an eyeliner. What I am going to do, though, is I'm taking my Mary Kay Ultimate Mascara. Obsessed with this in black. Love, love, love. This is the best mascara so far I've actually really enjoyed. So I'm going to shove this on. Can you tell the difference already? <laughs> Okay, so my camera just died. Hopefully the lighting is similar. I have crappy lighting anyways, no matter what. But like I was saying, I have the Six Contour Blush Palette um, with the Coastal Scents, and these are the colors. I am actually going to go with this color. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't have the name of the colors, which I absolutely hate, but I am using this one. For, and I'm using my Makeup For You makeup blush brush that I got off of mobstub.com, I believe is what it was, um, for like $20. So that wasn't bad. So I'm just going to do just a little on the apples of my cheeks just to give my face some color because I am so pale and I have so much natural tones on, but, oh, I should also probably tell you, um, I put my, what is this, Maybelline on my lashes, Maybelline New York Illegal Length Fiber Extension Waterproof Mascara on my bottom lashes. Okay, I blow that out, and then I'm going to actually use this brown, it looks kind of scary, but it goes on pretty nice. Brown contour, just to give me some color on my forehead and a little under the cheeks. So, just a little blend, blend, blend. That's makeup for you, always blending. And I am using the same makeup blush brush as my blush is so that is that I will do a where is she my Mary Kay makeup finishing spray and I usually spray this on before I put my mascara on because I hate the feeling that my eyelashes are gonna get wet and they're gonna get I don't know start running I don't know so I just, whew, had my open a little, mouth open a little. The natural queen. Um, for my lips, I'm actually going to do a little bold color. Since I am so neutral, I'm going to use my Be A Bombshell and Shameless Lip Crayon. It's a nice winter color and it's still neutral. So let's just throw, it's like a reddish maroon color. I absolutely love it. Love it. That's all I got to say. That is that. I am all done with my makeup. So comment below. Let me know. Um, what you thought about my first ever makeup tutorial. Um, I will see y'all next time, but let me know what you think. Um, sorry, my lighting is crazy. I hope that y'all can see the whole thing and I hope y'all enjoyed my video. So I guess till next time, keep beauty simple. Bye.